Konnichiwa, my name is Grave, Makazashi's Tea House, over in Japan. How are you doing? Are you good? Are you Genki? I'm good, thanks. I have a review of Spawn, issue 339. It came out today, Wednesday, March the 8th, 2023, and it's still priced at 2 dollars this is written by um, Rory McConville and it's got art by Carlo Barberi. So, yes, first of all, check out this cover. I think this is by, is it Simone Bianchi? Simon Bianchi? Bianchi? What a Yankee. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, great, uh, great painted image here. I like it. Kind of limited palette, isn't it? Limited colours there. But what is he standing on? Lizards? Snakes? Reptiles? Okay, so what you want to know is, is this new issue of Spawn any good? Is it worth buying? Yes, absolutely. I, I enjoy this very much. It's strange, isn't it, how I've I kind of come round to getting really into Spawn at the moment. I think, and I've been saying this for a while, the writer, Rory McConville, is writing it so well. And also the art by Carlo Barberi really matches the, the story. I think they have a really good relationship, you know, a good creative relationship going on there. They're collaborating so well together. So... What's good about the issue, what's great about it is we see Spawn finally kind of explaining the whole Dead Zone thing. Um, he's working with Haunt and who else is in here? We've got Sin and um, a demon called Cataclys who's been coming into it quite a bit. They've got the separate story going on. There's some really awesome fantasy style art by Barberi when he's showing the different realms of hell. We see some new characters in here, some very imposing looking characters. There are angels, there are devils, demons, all sorts going on. But yeah, just really enjoyed it. It's, it's another good issue, very solid, and I recommend it. Okay, so uh, before I sorry, before I show you my short story summary, let me show you some of the art from inside. Check this out here. Look at this image of Spawn standing in front of a portal. Great, great image there by Barberi. Love it. Yeah, this this some of the art in here is a little bit, maybe it looks a little bit rushed or a bit simple, but all the panels and pages are great. So yeah, look forward to it. I hope you enjoy it if you read it and you pick it up. Okay, so let me get on with my story summary. Here we go. The issue opens with more detail on what the dead zones are. We are told that both heaven and hell were using them to move their minions around Earth. That was until just over a year ago when Spawn sealed them all. After Nyx invaded Spawn's mind, she gained access to half the Dead Zones. How long can Spawn keep control of the rest? Haunt is worried that Spawn isn't going to show. He needs the antidote to the poison in his suit, which is slowly killing him. He's wondering if he'd been better off with Nyx and Downing when Spawn appears. Don't be a fool. Nyx would never give you access to a Dead Zone. Spawn tells Haunt that there's a Dead Zone close by and they're going to use it to get to heaven. Horn wants the antidote, but Spawn seems more concerned with retrieving a weapon that can drain necroplasm. That's the energy that powers Hellspawn. Horn isn't happy, but it seems he has no choice as Spawn opens a portal. We switch scenes to Hell and we catch up with Sin and Cataclys. They've just crossed into the Eighth Realm. Look at this here, I really like this fantasy style art that Carlo Barberi uses to depict the different realms of Hell. Ramos and Nunez's colours also help to seal the deal. Cataclys tells Sin that this is where his ancestors come from. We get some backstory about the demon's mother, and then they arrive at the Tower of Wrath. It's the dwelling of Lord Barbatus, and they are challenged by two tower guards. Cataclys informs them that Cogliostro has returned, and demands an audience with Lord Barbatus. One of the guards quickly regrets his words of challenge as Cataclys buries a dagger into his chest. Spawn and Haunt emerge from the darkness, Horn asking what Spawn will do to Nyx and Downing. You're not going to allow them to keep control of the dead zones, are you? Look at this here, I love the art and the limited colouring on this page. You really get the feeling that they're in another world or a realm. What is the darkness hiding? Haunt is concerned about what being there in heaven may do to him. Will he become trapped there? If you want to survive this, then abandon everything you think you know about heaven. They've been conning you all from the start, says Spawn. Then, on the next page, we meet the intimidating Sandalfon, first herald of the Magisterium. He is the lone survivor of ten warrior beings who were trapped in its black void between dimensions after Spawn sealed the dead zones. We can only imagine what he did to survive. Look at the size of him! As Spawn and Horn take on the first Herald, 
We're told that the time he had to spend on his own in isolation the last year has shattered his sanity. Do they have any chance against this being? He's called the failsafe. That sounds familiar. The failsafe that heaven and hell left to fight against whatever would take on the dead zones. Spawn seems helpless here, but from behind, Haunt stabs him through with some kind of blade. Is he down? It looks like it. Yes, on the next page we see Haunt stepping through the portal and two, it appears somewhere beautiful. Is this heaven? Wow, says Haunt. What's our next move? Spawn isn't sure, he says it looks different from the last time he was there. But then in the sky, we see, are these meant to be angels? They look like mechanical robots with scissors for wings. I almost pity you, Hellspawn. Has hell fallen so far that it would degrade itself by partnering with a haunt? Okay, please let me end my story summary here. There are still quite a few pages to go and there's a big cliffhanger with this issue too. Hi, before I finish, I just want to point something out. This is from the comic book roundup review site and look at this over here. This is this week's releases, Image Comics. There's no listing for Spawn. Now, this isn't the first time it's happened. Think about it, Spawn is a big title. You've got listings for Dynamite Comics, you've got uh, Mad Cave Studios, you know, these are very independent, small companies, but there's no Spawn from Image. Then I went into the page and had a look. Look at this, over the last six months, there's only been one review from issue 338, which was last month's. I've been reviewing them on the critics rating, sorry, the user ratings, not critics, but they're not showing up because the critics aren't reviewing it. So if you go onto this site, which to be fair is kind of a dying review site, and you look for Image Comics, it won't show Spawn being out. You've got to actually go into the search box, type in Spawn, and then go and you'll find it yourself. It's so weird. It feels like they're almost like boycotting the, the, the title, because you know it's not a small title, this. Crazy, right? Anyway, back to the uh, variant cover. Okay, I hope you enjoy the review. Here is a variant cover by Kevin Keane. Um, yeah, I think I prefer the main cover. And we have a preview of the next issue, which will be Spawn 340. Look at that, look at Sin or Cogliostro on the front there. Great looking cover. Okay, so that's it for my review. Um, yeah, please drop me a comment, let me know what you think of the issue. Are you reading Spawn? Which one is your favourite of the four current Spawn comic titles? I'd love to hear from you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Okay, this is Gray from Akazashi's Tea House, signing off for the day. Matane.